Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, welcome back to Union Cross. So this is my free-to-play account. Um, I'm going for that Mercy Pole. We just got the tweet for Axel EX falling price deal. And personally for me guys, even on my main account and this account, I won't be pulling for that. And I know that the high score challenge most likely will have this Final Boss Shion as a percentage. But that's not the reason I'm pulling for her. I'm pulling for her because Final Boss Shion, if I ever get enough percentage medals for a high score challenge, she's going to be uh, an incredible single hit medal. But enough talking, let's get into the poll system. I just want to say why I'm doing this because a lot of you guys do follow me and you've been watching what I'm doing. This is my free to play account. This is what I'm spending my jewels on because I believe this will help my game. And so far, everything I've chosen has went pretty nicely. Solid metal, can't go wrong. So, wish me luck, guys. Here I go. I'm going to go for four more polls. Um, I am recording. I always check that just in case. Poll number two, technically, but only the first poll for this video. All right, Mughal, give me something I can share. Let's see what you got there. All right, reverse. That's a good sign. Reverse is a good sign. I can get her early or I can get that EX metal. Ah, uh, Axel, how's it going? Your banner's coming out tomorrow for a better version. All right, two orb Axel and a couple new medals, or just a one with the Axel. Uh, poll number three. Poll number two for the video. All right, Moogle. Come on. At least something else I can use. It would be lovely. Upright, I'm okay. Um, another nominee would be awesome to get some traits on her or start guilting her on this account. And... Hey, Kyrie, what's up? Tyree. Again, if you guys don't know, I call her Tyree because she wears a tie and there's so many Kyries in the game that I don't want to reel out that whole name. Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie, 0.2 Kyrie, you know what I mean. So, nickname, Tyree. I'm okay with that. Uh, that's traits. Traits are good. Extra attack would be nice on her. This is our last two pulls, so second last pull. And then we go for the Mercy, which is fine. I have plenty of jewels saved up and after this point, I don't think I need to pull anymore until it comes to the Key Art Bonds beginnings and sky only oh two six stars two six stars that's a good sign <laughs> i'm golden with that oh man if you guys watch my other polls um i did a power pull power gem pull on my main account and my main account got to roll a trait on this Xion hd Xion with a trait guys that is amazing. I did use the Mickey and Brooms, but honestly, she's worth the Mickey and Brooms. For you, sorry, I'm honestly not going to use you just like I'm not going to use my main account. Probably for prod mode. But that was a good pull. That's one out of three Shions that I want. Um, I'll be happy to see another one of her. Another trait would be awesome, but definitely want to go for that EX version. And here's the Mercy for the final boss. So we got an upgrade. If there is no other other six stars, then we're getting an upgrade. So no EX medal, which is all right. There's our final boss, and our upgrade is 0.2 Kyrie. You know what? If I was a new account, um, this is actually really good. 0.2 Kyrie, Tyrie, and a final boss, Shion. Great way to start off the game. Um, of course, two orbs, almost perfect. And there's the whole reason for this, guys. Not only there's the amazing music, which I'm about to turn off my speakers for, um, but yeah, this is all worth it, guys. These are jewels, not wasted. And she came with a defense boost one, which is going to get replaced so fast. And our 0.2 carry is going to get some traits. Now, um, one hour left. As you guys see, the tweet's going to come out soon. This video might come out during the update. I am left with 21,000, which is enough for Mercy and a couple avatar boards. So let's go to the metal list. Let me just fuse some of these together with you guys. I think I want to fuse a couple of them together. Let's go to newest and see what I what I actually want to do. Um, okay, HD Shion, a hundred percent. So let's look for our other HD uh, HD Shion, and we'll do it that way. There we go. Okay, here's my main one, fully guilted, no traits. This is gonna be the first trait on her. I'm excited for this. Uh, not for the guilt, it's just for the traits. All right, come on. I didn't get an EX medal, but I can get extra attack on this. I would be so happy. Or even like a plus 1000 or a negative 60. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so good for so many reasons. Oh, this final boss, Shion, just became so much better. So did Tifa and Aerith. So many did. Oh. I need to make another HD Shion, uh, another fully guilted one. I need another fully guilted one, just because she's also really good for utility. I'm not going to make those decisions yet, or even when I do get more HD Shions, but guys, oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, even though the second attack's not as strong, the whole point is that you copy more of your buffs, 
and you get extra damage in there. So she only, she costs zero, which it doesn't matter for SP. So this is just pure extra damage and utility. That turned out so good. I can't believe it. Uh, let's start this to six stars to make this a little bit better. But <laughs> should I keep going, guys? I don't know if I need the rest. I don't know if I need the rest. I know I want to keep my 0.2 Kairi's not guilted because of high score challenges and other stuff like that. And this would guilt my 0.2 Kairi. So unless I get another 0.2 Kairi, I do not want to guilt this because this will affect high score challenges big time. But at the same time, I haven't been able to make top 5,000s without those percentage medals. So it's not that big of a deal. And then we need Tyree. Let's go see our Tyree. Now Tyree is another case. Tyree, I can. Tyree, I will go for this because... It's totally fine. I have a lot of SP restore medals already. My main attacker, Archeons, they have it. So I'm going to go for a guilt here, which is not a guilt in campaign. I'm okay with that. And we're going to go for a trait. Another extra attack would be amazing. All right, 150% what we're looking for. 108, I'm okay with that. It's all fixed damage up to 20,000. And here's the trait, guys. Here is the moment of truth. Damage and raid bosses. All right, nothing I really care about. Uh, there we go, a Guilted Kingdom Hearts 2 Tyree, or just Tyree, and we got ourselves an extra attack HD Xion. That is amazing guys, honestly, I don't even have this on my main account, and that can really change the gameplay on this account, hugely. Having those extra attack, like I said, the next time I'm probably going to pull is for Key Art Bond, Sky, and Beginning, just to get a copy medal with extra attack. Um, that's why I really want to see Oogie Boogie High Score Challenge, because even though he's only a tier 4, and the Lock, Shock, and Barrel is not that great either, their utility, if they get extra attack, is just off the charts. They will copy any metal twice. So, Tifa and Aerith, copy metal with extra attack. You have yourself 6 strength, 6 general defense down, and 2 metals. That leaves 3 metals, 4 metals with the pet on your Keyblade that can do pure damage or more buffs on attributes and uh, tribute defense down. So, that's why I really... I'm looking forward to that banner and possibly spending all my jewels on it. Even though it's not something new, it's something that will help no matter what throughout the game. It's any medal you guys want and a copy of it. So if I ever pull an EX medal, I can copy it three times and buff my other medals. Even though the EX medal would be my main damage dealer, I'm just saying I could have full buffs and debuffs just in three medals except for strength, which is fine. So yeah, there we go. That's going to be my, my setup. Um, basically, I do want to use this in Coliseum. I haven't started Coliseum for this reason, but I'm going to take away this right here. I'm going to go through my new ones right now and put that on 6 star. So basically, this is what it's going to look like. A little bit different because this will be replaced for Tifa and Aerith eventually, and Tifa and Aerith will go in there instead, but it's honestly exactly how I want it. Um, actually more, it wouldn't be Tifa and Aerith. On this account, it would be the 0.2 Kairi because final boss Shion. But again, my Dark Knot is only 9 SP, so I do have to switch around this Keyblade or just go for that first multiplier, which is going to be a little bit higher as I guilt her. But this is where I'm looking at to use her. If I don't use this setup, I'll go for something that's like my strongest setup and copy my HG, uh, use my HG Shion to copy a Tifa and Aerith and use it on something like this which is going to be, let me just move that around, and HG Shion. So HG Shion will copy my Tifa and Aerith. Uh, that will give me 6 strength, 6 strong defense down. And then I can put my final boss one over here. And then this will be a fully guilted of my final boss on a really good multiplier, 2.7. And right there, guys, lots of damage. Tons of damage. Also, um, just because, again, that's the wrong decision. Because I keep thinking of like EX medals where they don't have all the general fence down, but because my final boss Shion actually does the general fence down, this is actually a better decision right here. Um, gives me all the strength and it gives me three tribute up and three tribute down, which gives me enough for perfect seven general fence down over here. Just not perfect buffs. But again, this keyblade is kind of awkward. I got to move this keyblade on like the friend rear or something. That works out too. Because the friend rear last slot for power to copy this, put that over here and that over here. And then I would do something where I also put extra buffs here, like uh, what do you call it? Soar EX. Let me just go look for him real quick. Yeah, he's an upright as well. So the Kingdom Hearts 3 Soar EX which would go right there to give me all the buffs I need. I don't know why I didn't organize this. And this would be like my friend rear setup, just for making the friend rear into a speed one. Now, this is not. 
idea for a bunch of things, but to pass events and a quest, I can really do these kind of setups just because of what I just got out of all of this. But there you go, guys. Uh, my pulls turned out nicely. My trait turned out even better. I'm going to wait to guilt her because, uh, again, I don't think I have that much Mickey and Brooms. And I want to see what they're going to do. Also, guilting campaign would be nice, even though I don't need it because I'm, I have... I have almost 300 magic mirrors, so it doesn't matter. But I do have enough uh, Fantasia Mickey Bees. I'm just going to wait to guilt her because I don't need to guilt her right away. Because I do have copy medals that can fully guilt her. No problem. And again, actually, now that I think about Fenrir, this would be my pet slot. She would be in the last slot. And each HD Shion would be right here. Because there's a huge multiplier on the Fenrir as well. So I can go... Um, Final boss Shion, final boss Shion not doing any damage but puts the utility and then my pet which is going to be this will be a final boss Shion as well on a 2.5 multiplier and that's my 6 general defense down and back here Nominee will copy my story X or any other buffs and then 0.2 Kyrie to finish it all off and almost near perfect buffs just because of the medals I have so these are probably like my best medals right here not probably they are my best medals right here so free to play account Pull for the right banners, get super lucky sometimes, and this is what happens. So, that's all I got for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.